Hi, my name is Carla Sondheim and I'm in my studio in Seattle, Washington. And I'm here to announce our year-long class for 2015. I'm co-teaching it with Lynn Whipple and it's called Year of the Spark. The way I used to think about it, it was like the direct spark. It's like, here I am moving my hands and, I'm, and the more I can just get out of the way, the better. It's, it's almost like giving yourself permission to let your instincts and everything just take over and your brain will just go it's like, that's the spark. It's like the direct connect to creativity. Last year we had a great time with Year of the Fairy Tale. Uh, before that it was Year of the Giraffe. And this year the subject is actually just art. Um, more art, more creativity. How, not only just making stuff, but how to infuse creativity and art into our daily lives. What does that feel like, you know? To live your fearless, creative life. I mean, how much fun is that? That's what I'm after. How much fun can I have? Emphasis on fun. <laughs> How can I own my own day and fill it with art and fill it with a life that's exciting to me? That's what I want. So Lynn and I were talking about what it is that keeps us from having more art in our lives. Motivation, inspiration, and finding the time. I think it's the most important thing we can do is encourage each other on that journey, on setting your life up in a way that you have those times where you get that spark and you share that spark. So we've designed this class to provide the community and structure to make this happen. Uh, every month you'll get a lesson from Lynn and then a lesson from me. Since we'll start with a creativity exercise to get us into the zone. These are things to get our hands moving and also things to get us thinking with the imaginative side of our brains. From there we'll move into projects uh, where we will be sharing techniques and giving you assignments and challenges that you could take even further. And finally, each month, we'll have a discussion about sharing your art with the world and the business of art. Talking about things like uh, applying to shows and getting into galleries and publishing and selling your work online. So it's a whole year of just getting ourselves going. And who doesn't need more creativity in their life? How does that look every month? How does that look every day? This is all about you and your creative voice, your creative sparks. And our idea was to sort of come together a few times a month. It's like, how do you get started moving your hands every day? How do you just get right into it? And that's important to me, that's sparky. And then what's a real technique that'll help me with my art and give me finished pieces? That's a concrete art lesson that we wanna share with you. And then this sort of softer, casual, but really important conversation about the business. Like, so I've got all this stuff. How do I make it full circle? So even if you work full time, how do you do that? How do I settle in and make something new and exciting to me? And then how do I, you know, take that time to share it properly and offer it to the world for sale if that's what you want to do? That's what to expect. It's sort of a, like a, a three-part sort of package that you're going to get every month. The most important thing that we hope students can take out of this class, and that we can take out of the class, is that we encourage each other to embrace who we are as people first, and then as artists second, and, what, and letting the, the person part of us reflect in the art part. Um, this is the process of finding your style, finding your voice, or fine-tuning your style and voice. We're going to be exploring line quality and installation, uh, 3D wrapped animals or sculptures. Color, 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 color. You could spend hours just mixing color and talking about color. I really love fabric and fiber. If you have three elements, how are you going to put them together in a way that's interesting? There will be exercises that talk to or speak to design. Along with drawing and painting and experimenting with uh, art supplies and making new combinations. I never read directions, so I'm going to be doing this right in front of you. And hopefully that will give you ideas and permission to do that yourself and come up with just your own way of um, making art, making your mark. If you have the freedom to try stuff and mess it up, if you have an encouraging, safe place to share what you do or your mistakes or what your dreams really are. This is the place to do that. This is the place to grow. This is the place that we're going to sort of break through those barriers and make it so it's safe for you to be the artist that you want to be. So there'll be a, a whole online community, which is one of my favorite parts about teaching online. People from all over the world sharing their work and their ideas. This class is different from other online classes I've taught. Lynn and I will actually 
be taking bits and pieces from what's going on in the conversations and applying them to future lessons. And then, of course, you will be taking those things and taking them even further. So we're just hoping for this wonderful, sparky, sparkly combustion of ideas and creativity this year. So this is how it'll work. On the first and third Thursdays of every month, you'll get a link to a video from me and then a link to a video from Lynn. Along with that, you'll receive a PDF with written instructions, samples, step outs, links to other websites, and useful resources. And interviews with gallery owners, we'll be talking to publishers, and, and we'll be talking to other artists as well. Everything is more beautiful when you're an artist, <laughs> including you. Ha! That was a good one. <laughs> Everything is more beautiful when you're an artist, including you. Living the creative life or the artistic life, it's a journey. And wherever you are on that path, um, we want to be there to help you um, embrace it, celebrate it. And those things that make us human in life also are the things that make your art more authentic and more human. This is the year. This is your year. This is the year to have as much fun as you can have, to make art, to make it about art, to be excited and learn and play and grow and share and encourage and and business-wise, get your art on track. This is your year to shine. So join us. Sign up now at yearofthespark.com.